Today, Mike Trout earns a championship. Each year, we'll spin the wheel to decide what team he joins. With this, he won't stop until he wins the championship. And the first team we'll be using is... The Pirates. <laughs> Not the best squad, but we have to give it a go, and he looks kind of ugly in these unis. At the All-Star break, the Pirates were 41-49 and 49 and did not look good enough to make the World Series. And it didn't finish the best. 72-90 and 90 to finish the year, but at least Trout finished with some really, really good numbers. Absolutely carrying, having over 30-plus bombs, 100 RBIs, and an OPS above 900. But they didn't win anything, so we move on to the next. And the next team will be the Tigers. Oh my God, no. And it looks like it's going to be another wasted year. Just look at this lineup, man. But he does look better in a Tigers uniform. I can give him that. Just like the Pirates, this team has no chance at the World Series. Already 12 games back at the All-Star break. And they don't rebound throughout the year. Finishing over 22 games out of first. This had no chance to be Trout's World Series year. But Trout did put up some monster numbers with 40 home runs plus 100 RBIs and OPS of 1,000 plus. This was an insane year. But we have to move on to the next team. Spin the wheel. For the first time, we land on a legit contender for Trout, and that's the Tampa Bay Rays. We actually have a chance. Trout does look clean in these unis, and he has a legit lineup around him with heads like Franco, Diaz, and Rosarena, and a rotation that can get the job done. But this didn't stop them from being eight games back at All-Star break. It wasn't looking the best for Trout's chances. But the Rays somehow ended up getting into the wild card spot with only 84 wins. Kind of insane. Trout was the main reason they did get into the playoffs. Just look at these stats for his MVP award. As well, he won this award and this award. Insane. As you could tell though, this team was not going to get it done. They did do well in the playoffs, actually, taking down the Guardians and then taking down the Rangers, but ultimately falling short against Houston, and Trout just couldn't simply do enough. Kind of like he can't do enough right now for the current team and the Angels. Just overall low-key sad, looking like we can't get the job done for Trout. And what team will the wheel spin bring us to now? The Padres. We actually have a chance. Let me just say, this lineup should be absolutely illegal with heads like Machado, Trout, Bogarts, and Soto. I don't know how they won't get the job done. This is just crazy. But Trout does look kind of ugly in these Padre uniforms. I cannot lie. To the start of the season, it was low-key a letdown. Sitting around 500 for majority of the games, this team didn't look like it was actually going to get the job done, which was rather surprising to myself. But by the time the All-Star break hit, this team was already up five and a half games on the division and looked like they were not going to stop there. They ended the season with over 111 wins, but ended up only getting the second team. But this team looked like it was indeed a powerhouse. They ended up playing the Chicago Cubs in the divisional round and man was it a bloodbath. They ended up sweeping the Cubs 3-0 and advancing to the championship round. And man, were we surprised what happened next. They ended up facing the Atlanta Braves in the championship series, who were an absolute powerhouse as well. This series proved to need all seven games available. The Padres ended up splitting at Atlanta, but they ended up losing the home series 2-1. to one. This meant they had to win two on the road in order to take the series. Somehow this Padres team beat the odds and won two on the road against the powerhouse and made their way to the World Series. It actually looked like it was possible for Trout to win his first championship. In the World Series, it ended up matching up against the Toronto Blue Jays, who as well just went to a Game 7 against the Houston Astros. Like the last series, things did not go well at home. They ended up losing the first two games at home, and it didn't look good. Getting outscored 3-17 isn't going to win you any games. But we ended up sealing the third game. And Game 4 was the biggest one of all. If the Padres didn't win this, they most likely weren't going to win the series. And Game 4 was a nail-biter, not seeing its first runs until the 10th inning when Juan Soto hit a two-run home run right before this flyout by Trout. They hold the lead in the bottom of the 10th and go on to get the W, tying this series up at 2-2 and hopefully having a chance at the World Series. Game 5 ended up going to extras as well, and the Padres somehow pulled out the W 5-4, and Trout didn't really have that best of a game, but they somehow got the W. Hopes were high, and it looked like the Padres might end up getting their first ever championship. 
in game six, even under Trout's best ability to get the W, it just wasn't enough. As you could tell, he hit himself an absolute nuke in the process, but the Blue Jays weren't just going to go away. It looked like we were going to go to a game seven, and Trout needed one more win to get himself that infamous World Series. At Petco Park, it was the Padres versus the Blue Jays in game seven, and the Padres had on the mound their ace and you Darvish, and we hope that Trout can get his first ever World Series. The first inning was cleaned by both sides and no damage was done. It looked like it might be a duel between the Aces and the Blue Jays and the Padres. By the third inning though, both squads had put up three, but Trout hasn't really done anything to help the squad out. And when Trout comes up again in the bottom of the fourth, Padres have taken a commanding 6-3 lead and Trout finally gets his first hit, an infield single. When Trout comes up in the 6th though, it's cut to a 1 round lead, but Trout Bat has finally woken up and he now has 2 hits on the game. By the 7th though, the Padres have opened the lead back up to 5 and Trout Bat is awoken. 3 hit game and he looks like he might win the World Series. We jump back in the ninth to see that the Padres got the job done and have won the World Series. Trout finally gets his first ring and what's even crazier is they didn't even have one of the best players in the world in Fernando Tatis Jr. What's also crazy is he only had to go a couple hundred miles south in the state of California to the San Diego Padres to win a ring. This was an absolute god squad and it took a lot of game 7s to get the job done. The duo of Soto, Bogart, Machado and Trout was just too much for any other team to overcome. What's even crazier is Tatis wasn't on the team and they overwhelmed every team with their offense scoring 10 plus runs in numerous games in the playoffs. It was a masterclass by the Padres, and this was a definitely a fun challenge. Trout ended up receiving the World Series MVP as deserved, but what's even crazier is he didn't even win a major award besides that. What challenge should we take on next? Is it Shohei Otani, or is it Fernando Tatis Jr.? You guys let us know in the comments.